Hi everybody, this is Cheryl Smith. I'm with Charleston PR and Design. I wanted to talk to you today about the use of NextGen Gallery. It's a great handy plugin that is, as you can see, the most popular WordPress gallery plugin uh, that exists. We use it on many of the sites we work on and you will find that it is very handy. You can go to wordpress.org and then you can download it and save it and then you can upload it to the plugins folder on your blog or website. I have already done that and um, so now I'm ready to configure my gallery options. So I would do that by choosing gallery and choosing options and here with the general options uh, I can note where I'd like my files stored um, and I can select a graphic library here. I'm pretty much leaving these to my defaults. I do not choose to use the Cool Iris Pick Lens uh, RSS feed and um, I, so I don't choose this option nor do I choose the other option about supporting that. Uh, I do um, leave it set for tags and I set the maximum number of images that will show at a single time at 7. For my thumbnails uh, I have my uh, thumbnails set to 100 by 75 uh, as my maximum values and I have uh, set ignore the aspect ratio and no portrait thumbnails that will give me a consistent look and feel across all of the pages where I may use my thumbnails and I've set my thumbnail quality to a hundred percent. For my images um, NextGen can resize your images as you upload them and here you can set the maximum width and height to allow NextGen to scale images for you. You can also set a maximum quality uh, and you can have it back up your images as well. Now I do not have this set to automatically resize my images on upload. I choose to do that myself and I use Picasa to resize my images. Um, I prefer to do that as I have more control at that point. Now when it comes to your gallery options I choose, if you remember, WordPress, when it stores data, associates data with a single post. And so I have chosen to check to prevent images to be linked to a single post. Um, I will allow up to 20 images per page. You can change that setting if you like. I can choose the number of columns based on my width. Um, for example, I can say I'd like to have two columns, um, as many up to my max on the page, or I can let it stay set to zero, which means it will adjust uh, based according to your theme. Um, if I choose to integrate the slideshow, um, it will give me this direction for users. I don't care for the way that looks and so I always leave this unchecked. I always say show thumbnails first and um, I've left these other options unchecked as well and I've chosen to sort my thumbnails according to custom order. We'll go over how to sort your images in just a little bit. Now for effects um, I've left it at the JavaScript thumbnail shutter effect and um, you can change that as you like. Um, there are lots of detailed uh, discussions of this across the internet so I won't go into these since we're just talking about the basic uses here. Now if you have images that are proprietary and you don't want other people to be able to use those, you can set up a watermark to be used on your images. And um, if you have an image like a ghosted uh, logo that you'd like to use as your watermark, as you can see you can place that URL here and uh, tell NextGen to use that. Or you can use a text watermark. You can choose your font as you see here. I've just 
uh, only have Arial installed here. I can choose colors and dimensions, and then of course I can set the text. When it comes to doing a slideshow, the default size that I have set here is 320 by 240. You can set that according to the dimensions that fit your page width, and these are the dimensions that fit my page width on my pages. Uh, you can choose the duration between slides, and I've chosen here five seconds. That's a fairly quick transition, but not too long, not too short, and I'm using the fade option to transition. Um, I've left this on shuffle mode, and if someone clicks on the slideshow, it will show the next image. Um, here you can choose to use your watermark logo that we've just talked about a few minutes ago. Um, I do not choose to use a loading icon. If your images will be smaller than um, your background, you can set your colors and your rollovers you can configure these to fit your uh, theme for your site. So those are just a brief overview of the options. So let's go ahead and uh, add a gallery and add some images and we'll show you how that works. So the first thing we want to do is add a new gallery. Let's call this Yellow Roses. And then we add our gallery. Let's select some images that we can upload to the gallery. Since this is our Yellow Rose Gallery, I've selected my Yellow Rose pictures and I have uh, selected all of them. And so now I can drag those over here into my upload area and then I choose my gallery, Yellow Roses, and upload my images. Now my images have been uploaded and you can see that NextGen is automatically creating my thumbnails for me. Now that we have those uploaded, let's go and manage that gallery. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the Yellow Rose Gallery here. And let's look at the options that we can set. These options are used when you place images in a post or a page. So let's give this a description. And now let's name this okay now as you see I have gone ahead and given a description to each and every image and I've given each image a name and as you'll notice I've used consistent capitalization uh, and then I went ahead and gave some tags to each image. These tags can be used to sort and place images, um, which we'll go over in just a few minutes. Now let's look at how to sort this gallery. If I had a particular sort order that was important to me, I can click the Sort Order tab and easily drag and sort these images. And then I can update that sort order and hold that for the future. Let's look at how to uh, manage the thumbnails for the gallery. Go back over here to our Yellow Rose Gallery. When you're in your gallery here, you can choose to edit the thumbnail of an individual image. And NextGen gives you the image and allows you to drag that thumbnail and you'll notice that you'll get a notification in red that your thumbnail has been updated and then you can click out. Now that you have a gallery established and you have images in a gallery, let's look at how to use the galleries within a page or a post. And I have a page here about roses and this is my overview page. So let's go ahead and put an overview slideshow in there. Um, we come to edit the post and if you will expand your toolbar so that you can see all of your tools you'll notice there's a new tool here which is add next gen gallery you simply click that and then we're going to choose the gallery that we'd like to use on this page I'm going to use my general roses gallery 
and I am going to use the image list. That's what it calls an array of thumbnails that open into a light box. So let's say insert, and here you see the great power of NextGen because it automatically codes a short code and inserts it in your page. Now let's update the page and you'll see how this works. Now what we have here is an array of thumbnail images of roses. When we click these we get a nice light box and here you see the description that we put in. You have uh, arrows that allow you to navigate through your um, gallery and if you click on the gallery you return to the page. One of the additional things that you can do is add uh, a gallery that has a description and shows the image and allows you to sort through those. Um, that's the image browser and that's a very popular gallery style. So let's add yellow roses here in our image browser and again NextGen configures that for us. You'll notice the image browser has been installed and we have next and back as our directions and we can step through these images in our gallery of yellow roses. Let's look at how to install the default slideshow for NextGen. Uh, here we are in a page that we'd like to edit and we go ahead and choose our NextGen menu tool there. Let's choose our gallery and let's use the slideshow and insert that. You'll notice again we get our short code prepared for us and inserted where we had the cursor at the insertion point. As you can see the slideshow will transition through images at the five second interval that we set up in our options. You notice that when we have both portrait and landscape images of in our gallery it sort of can be a little bit jarring so you may want to pay attention to making sure that all of your images are a similar size and similar orientation. Another of the really great features of NextGen is the ability to use a single image from a gallery. So here we are on a page about red roses and let's use a single image from uh, our main Roses Gallery. Uh, we can go here and you'll notice you can click the picture tab and we can select an individual picture. Now this is when those descriptions we gave the roses as we uploaded them uh, they come in as very very handy because we can uh, see what those pictures are. We can set a height and a width for this. Uh, we can add effects if we like and we can uh, align our image. So I'm going to uh, left align this image and insert that. Here you can see the short code has been inserted. Now we've looked at the page here after we've updated it and we see the single image and you'll notice our alt tag is the title of the image. Pay attention to these descriptions and tags as you're using them. Uh, to help support your search engine optimization goals. You want to be sure and use your keywords in there. Other very popular options with NextGen include the ability to use lots of widgets. Uh, you can put slideshows in your sidebar. You can put sliders in your sidebar. Alright, let's use the NextGen slideshow widget. Uh, we can drag that into place here and we can give it a title and let's call that and we'll let it choose from our yellow roses and we'll give that height of 120 and width of 160 and we'll save that now you can see we've put our yellow rose slider in and the images from our yellow rose gallery are being displayed here on the page. 
There is another widget for NextGen, just the general NextGen widget. Um, we can have this show uh, a variety of images and we can show uh, thumbnails here and these will be small images and I'm just going to let this choose random from all of our galleries. This is a very pleasing effect when you allow the NextGen widget to just show the thumbnails. Uh, if you had a group of sponsors, for example, and you had logos for a sponsor, you could do this type of arrangement. Uh, and then, of course, when you click on that, you can see the image in the light box. Another very pleasing effect. So there you have it, a very basic overview of how to use the NextGen Gallery in Pages and in Posts, how to use the widgets, and how to use the various settings.